So hey y'all, I'm back with another video. So today's video is yet again another Trauma Chats video, Twitter Talks edition. So this is my first time doing this new segment where I look at what's viral on Twitter and make a short separate video about it. I just got back being active on Twitter, so definitely follow me on there. This is my Twitter handle. And if you see any viral stories, just DM them to me because Twitter is like a different universe. There's a different discourse on there than some other social media platforms. And I feel like Twitter was at its highest at one point. And now it's kind of like a place for like gender wars, pulling up people's resurfaced tweets and dragging them, celebrity beefs, conversations about respectability, dating, and so forth. I feel like the millennials run Twitter. And that's why the conversation is always so interesting on there. So this is a new segment, like I said, just something short to post after I post my main videos, because I think Twitter has a lot of great content conversations that don't deal with tea and drama and what celebrities are doing all the time. Let me know if y'all like this and let's get right into this video. So there's this conversation on Twitter right now about an ice cream date being considered bare minimum as a first date. And I've been seeing these conversations about what women should be looking forward to when dating. And as someone who is young, single, and finally ready to start dating again, after three years of celibacy and being single, it's interesting to see how much has changed from maybe when I was in high school, when I was in college, and then now. So I graduated from college three years ago in 2020, which was the pandemic. So I kind of just been in a slump with dating since. I've been out here and there, but not too much. That was the year that my college ex and I were done. And through the heartbreak and the depression that the pandemic put on me I was just really messed up at that time like I don't think people really knew this unless you've been watching me since then but it took me so long to recuperate myself mentally and I've been through like heartbreaks before but I've never really been through something like that situation because it was just so much more complex and it's the point where I don't think I'll ever talk about it unless I'm like happily married with my own kids or just find enough strength to go to therapy for it because it was just like double whammy of a heartbreak plus the pandemic and being inside and no way of expressing my emotions healthily so enough with my sad story but but I say all of that to say that I haven't been dating that much since then. So it really does intrigue me when I see these conversations about dating. And I feel like oftentimes it comes from women who actually don't date. This is my first summer being outside. I haven't been on any dates this summer. I don't currently talk to anybody, but there's this narrative that if you're single, you can't give advice. But I feel like single people can give dating advice because being in a relationship is a means of choosing to be in one as well as having the right mindset to be in a relationship. I feel like coming out of college, a lot of relationships I saw where people just wanting to say that they had a boyfriend or a girlfriend and then now that I'm like a real adult I'm realizing it's more about does this person work with who you are your morals your standards your character and your lifestyle I see why there's this phrase of people not wanting to ruin their peace or protecting their peace when it comes to dating because it really can mess you up so there was this viral tweet of a text message conversation between I'm assuming two people who were pursuing dating so it says hey this is so-and-so and the girl replies back and says hi and then the man says hope you've had a good day I'm excited excited for tomorrow. I can pick you up, but if you're not comfortable with that, we can meet there. I don't know why I'm feeling like getting some ice cream in this hot weather, LOL. So she comes back and says, sorry if this may come off as rude, but I don't do ice cream dates. I'm a 26 year old woman and a date like that seems like the absolute bare minimum for me. Meeting up would be a waste of both of our time since we probably don't have the same vibe. Best wishes. So she's entitled to this. I mean, if she feels like it's not gonna work, so be it. But like I said, this is going viral. And I even quoted somebody on Twitter who said, getting ice cream is definitely not a first date lol it's something you can end the date with though or if you're already dating it's just quality time but a first date yeah, no. So my response to her was, the internet has made a lot of y'all so self-righteous. The first date is about getting to know someone by doing something enjoyable or something both people have in common. The quality of the date slash person does not equal the money spent by someone who isn't even your boyfriend or girlfriend yet. I hate it here. So the reason why I feel like this tweet and this message thread is for the lack of a better word, annoying, is because I feel like there is a self-righteous attitude and a lot of women's egos have been inflated to believe that they deserve some type of instant luxury. It's so many girls that feel like when you meet the guy, the first day should be a trip or the first day should be some type of extravagant situation that is worth more than what you own. And depending on the man, he might have some form of extravagant excursion or experience for you the first time you meet him. But on average, I don't think it's that. I'm so for hypergamy, but I'm all for also being reasonable as women as well. And I feel like our intentions have been misconstrued because of course you should be striving for men that provide, men that invest, men that show you that they are stable. But those things matter just as much as do you even like this person do you guys get along do you agree with his character his morals his mindset and even the basics his job his family situation and so forth and most of that stuff you learn from dating somebody like in the dating phase this is coming from someone who hasn't dated in a long time but the beauty of me being single
single was that the few times that I have gone out on a dinner date with a guy in between this time was me learning that, okay, I don't really like him or this was nice, but he's not my type or it's the wrong timing or I'm not sure about his intentions. They may be misplaced. And that's the point of doing simple dates so that you can garner that information and see if it's worth continuing forward. I think because social media has told women that you need to be effing with the best ballers and the scammers and the athletes and the guys that are super duper rich, which is like one in like a hundred men probably make six figures. And I'm probably wrong with that. I made that up. Now we have the after effects of standard or average women asking for more than they can even provide for themselves. Now, I don't know this just based off of the text message, but I'm just speaking in general. I see absolutely nothing wrong with going out for ice cream as a first date because there's no pressure. You don't have to get in this fancy hair and makeup and dress up and go out to some steakhouse. You can vibe with this individual over something that is pretty enjoyable and likable by most people. I mean, I love ice cream and this is going to be more of a conversation based date versus sitting through an hour and a half long dinner when you can determine whether or not you are possibly compatible with someone within the first like 15 to 30 minutes of a date. I feel like after about 20 minutes, you'll know if you're going to go on another date with this guy or not. And in between 2020 and now, I think I've gone out on like three dates didn't really make it anywhere with either of the guys. It was definitely a one-time thing each time, but I was very easily able to determine whether or not it was going to work within a short amount of time. It didn't take a steak at Ruth Chris. It didn't take me having to go get my frontal slayed, putting on my House of CV dress, throwing on my Louboutin heels, and being picked up in a Rolls Royce for me to know, do I even like this guy or not? Is he even worth it? And sometimes, like I said, women can easily be jaded like money. And I don't think first dates need to be an expression of wealth because what happens sometimes is that we end up being purchased as women. And I don't mean that literally. It just figuratively means that because a lot of men are so territorial and their money is their best asset, or at least with a lot of women, that's what we look at, which is fine. We start being jaded by our true intentions of being with this man if we're only looking at his pockets. Now, if you're looking for a trick, that's definitely different. By all means, take the guy that has the money. And if he's willing to trick, you may eventually like him. But if money is your first and only thing, by all means. But I feel like this is what is wrong with dating. Having these unnecessary standards from the jump. Yes, you should be looking at money, finances, stability, but you should also be looking at compatibility, communication, and correlation. Do you have correlating values? Do you have correlating goals? Is he really what you're looking for? I feel like to each their own on this, but it's a little bit out of hand that simple things aren't enough for people anymore. Like I said, I'm here for hypergamy and dating up, but I feel like genuine compatibility only happens when two people start from a genuine space. So I'm just going to read off some of the tweets. Some people were in favor of this. Some people were not. It was pretty much all over the place on Twitter. So one user said, an ice cream date as a first date in your 30s is effing crazy, but I forgot people are okay with bare minimum effort. Someone else said, y'all some losers. At least get to know the person and make sure you F with them before going on a big A date. Why a guy should spend hella money on a first date and then he don't even like the girl. Another user said, I think we have to accept that girls love the bare minimum. Stop trying to elevate them or make them want more. They are grateful for any male attention and will put on $75 foundation for a Fitbit challenge walk date and an ice cream cup. Let them enjoy the least. Someone else said, y'all sound ungrateful and weird. Like everyone has preferences and that's fine, but that doesn't mean women are subjecting themselves to the bare minimum just because they enjoy ice cream dates. It's okay for there to be different strokes for different folks without belittling. Another tweet says, mm, I feel like there's a huge sense of narcissism in our society. Do you expect someone to spend $500 on a person solely for appearance and they don't even know if they like you? And then lastly, someone said, coffee dates, ice cream dates, etc., are actually very good first dates, especially since most of the time people are meeting someone one from online. Neither is spending money that they won't regret, but you also have quality time to talk to a person and actually get to know them. So for me, when it comes to dating, it's not about how much a guy spends on that first date. That really isn't a deposit. If he's going to be the right man for you, it's about the experience and what you take away from that individual. For example, I really don't even want to say this. I don't like telling my business anymore for free, but I did this little weekend date thing like two years ago, and it was with this might gonna regret saying this, but with this NFL player. And no, I did not have any sexual relations, but he got a hotel, we went out to eat, we went to the mall. We did all this great, nice stuff, and I really enjoyed my time as well as him, but I almost felt like I was trying to be purchased a little bit. And that's just a red flag to me because I had a guy use his money to leverage my loyalty in the past. I've had a guy say, oh, I got this for you, I did this for you, I've done this for you, so you owe me this. So I feel like it's always about character. The money is important, but the number one thing is about character and does he respect you? Personally, I feel like if a woman 
woman is genuinely interested in getting to know a guy, the first date wouldn't have this many stipulations. This is why I speak about the influence of women in today's society, because what is posterized for us, especially as black women, is that we should only be looking at men for their money. And as much as I think that is very important to look at, character, respect, and interest really does matter just as much as that money. Whatever happened to first dates being dinner in a movie and basically spending like maybe $60 in total? I feel like it's about cutting your coat according to your cloth and cutting your coat according to your size. If you know you're talking to a guy that probably has a regular nine to five job and makes an average amount of money, why would you be expecting him to spend money as if he's an NBA player or Jeff Bezos or something? It's like some girls just believe that they deserve a five star life just because they gave somebody their number. Like be realistic. To end, I found this excerpt and it says, when Barack met Michelle, the two ended up going on a barbecue for their law firm's summer associates. After Michelle drove Barack home from the event, he suggested that they get some ice cream so the two walked down the block. I kissed her and it tasted like chocolate. Now I know everyone does not believe in couples goals and such, I know, I know, but it's just some food for thought. Anyway, this has been Twitter Talks. Let me know what you guys think on this topic and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.